Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm Mike. Let's crack into another one. Mm-mm-mm. Cracking. TNT. Yo. Uh, so I found out that for $40, we can buy 15 seconds of an advertising board in New York's Times Square. So we should do that for... 15 seconds? 15 seconds. That's all you get. But th- Times Square in New York City at the right time has hundreds of thousands of people wrong yeah it. so it's probably time based on yeah it's 15 seconds that's it yeah you got to figure out what time of day or whatever but 40 bucks and i was like but but if you think about it you can get a full minute for 160 bucks yeah 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 which a, a full minute that's a yeah. i mean like that's that's a long time yeah for people so, to walk by so do the math real quick jonas yeah if they're selling these packages for a minute for a hundred and forty dollars oh minutes so or, let's see let's let's do it real quick this is i mean it's honestly not a bad right, idea so uh let's see i've heard i've heard hours in the day times 60 minutes okay uh, yeah i've heard people doing this type of stuff before like there was a uh, dogecoin did this back during during the day if you remember like there were people were buying ads for Dogecoin, putting it up in Times Square. Yeah, to get to get like yeah, so to try to get it to go to the moon, baby. They're make, if they get one for every day, so how much are every, they? How much are they making? They're making two hundred thirty k a day. Two hundred thirty k a day. Yeah, for running. And I bet you that's only. I I bet you like we were just talking about. I bet you daytime hours are excluded because you got to pay way more for that. Like, I bet you this probably. is, like, from, like, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. or something. You know what I mean? Like, I bet you that's the time no, that you get it. Because that, that 7A to 7P when there's millions of people downtown every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're not getting that for 40 That's bucks. that horizontal money, man. And they have, like, down there they have, like, the crazy-looking ads where you can have, like, holograms and stuff. Because it's, like, on the side of a building. Yeah, yeah. So I've seen, like, stuff for, like, uh, Marvel movies. Like, they'll have Black Panther, like, coming, like, yeah. looking out over Wakanda or something. So I was like, man, we should we should uh, we should invest and put a and put an ad up for the crazy town. I mean, like just for the just put like the crazy town dot com on I, it. I would love to see it pop up, man. I mean, like, yeah. I'm not going to New York to catch right. it. Right, And that would be more of the thing is like I would love to do it just just to put it up there to see if yeah. anyone looked at it. Yeah, from yeah. that. But if we ever went there that and I think that's the thing is the thing is like the allure of like you can go to New York, take a picture of you and your girl and put it up on Times Square's wall for 15 seconds. Oh, there we were. And, and and then some you can be like, hey, can you take a picture of us when our picture's up on the on the wall? You know, some like cool yeah. like thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for advertising, that it that seems really cheap for that. And I don't it know. It does seem pretty cheap. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I imagine that's not high traffic hours. Uh yeah. I mean, look, who owns those signs? Who's is it like the person who owns the building? I don't know. I'm sure it's probably a Is it a company that I'm sure the people who own the building most likely then no, they what they probably do is an advertising company reaches out and is like, "Hey, we want to put a billboard on your thing." And then they'll and they'll say, "Okay, we get X percent in prep in prep whatever the word forever." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And so like they do nothing. And the other other pu- per- person puts all the cost on it, does all the maintenance, yeah. and you just literally get passive income for letting them have that on the side of your building cuz you happen to buy downtown real estate yeah, in, in New ni- York City in 1920. Right, exactly. <laughs> And, you know, because, I mean, that's the thing. Like, if I owned a building with, like, a really prominent thing, I would happily put a billboard on the side of it and be like, hey, yeah, yeah. sure, put it up, yo. Like, whatever, I don't care. Okay, so would you – okay, so speaking of billboards. Okay. Let's say – could we put a billboard on uh, your car? Would you do that? Would you put a a livery, a uh, a wrap? I, I thought about looking into it. Oh, put a wrap on your I car just to advertise? Because, I don't drive enough because they base on how many miles you drive. Really? Yeah. I didn't know this was a service and well, you're yeah, like I mean, dead ass. I, yeah. did, I didn't look it up, but like it's because like I work from home. So like why would they pay me any money to have the car sit in the parking lot? All, right, all right. So it's not good for you, but how much does it pay? Oh, I don't know. But I'm sh- I like I but here's the thing. If it was lucrative enough, I would do it and put miles on my car and just drive around the city to make money. <laughs> I, okay, but I'm okay. A, a far, Put a, a skull tobacco wrap on my car and just drive oh, around. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, are you seriously going to be ri- riding around in the Marlboro Mobile? Depends <laughs> what the product is. Yeah. KY oh, okay. Jelly? Let's roll. I don't know. <laughs> what if it's for, uh, I don't know, like Kidnapping Children Corporation? No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I, mean, but they, I mean, people have been driving around those Red Bull cars forever. 
Uh, yeah. I mean, that's been a thing for a long, long time. I honestly just thought they were douchebags and that they were just like, hey, you know, I really like Red yeah, Bull. Yeah, I've, I've honestly, like... Like those guys You know, like we Fox. always joke about, like, that's the business we should get into. Yeah. I've thought before, like, you know, I should, I should spend the money and invest on one of those, like, trucks that just has a digital billboard in the bed. That's all it is, and you drive it around town, and people pay you to, like... Put put their image on your digital billboard. You drive yeah, around, but you got to go hunting for that, man. Those people aren't calling you up. You well, right, exactly. Them. But like once once you pay off the vehicle, it's all free. Yeah, it's all profit. Like I mean, yeah, and I'm sure getting a billboard put on the like you you buy a truck, take the bed off, put a digital billboard on the back of it. Mm. That's not cheap. It's gonna cost you probably at least a hundred k. Yeah, yeah. But if you're charging people to do it, once you make that hundred k back, it's just maintenance on the vehicle. Oh, is that all I got to do? Is make my first hundred k and then it's pure profit. Is expensive. People pay a lot of money you're, for advertising. You're not wrong. Especially if you, like if you're but, in like Ashtabula, no, no one's gonna pay for that. But if you're like, hey, we'll drive with your message d around downtown Austin on our truck for three hours, and they're like, okay, we'll give you. 10 grand to do that all right jonas riddle me this yeah you're probably gonna have an answer for this because you're just that type of guy and, I, and it's fine i love you for oh, it no but when if ever have you called a number inquired about a product or even went to the store and purchased a product because of a billboard you saw or from a billboard you saw uh, I knew. I knew it. He's thinking about it. I knew it. I, the normal person zero. I, <laughs> the normal person zero. I, uh, Jonas, I did last I week. Know. Actually, okay. Here's a few things I recognize from billboards in Austin. One, I saw that they have a rugby team here because there was a billboard for it. I did not know it. Would have never known. I did I, look up how much tickets. Were. I didn't know until you told me right now. Um, two. And that makes me mad. I saw that funny billboard that was like moved to Ohio for work or whatever it was like why do you need 300 days of sunshine if you're working inside or like whatever so like that i don't know fair i have uh i know that there is an attorney in austin who has dreadlocks i don't okay, know okay but his billboard's been there for forever it's a but part, that's the point it's a part of downtown you at this know point. that that guy exists I do. Yeah, um yeah. i i have seen like i've seen billboards like oh the rodeo's coming in town like those are the sort of things i noticed okay. like yeah, like, oh, there's a new proctologist in town. I don't notice that. But yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. God, there's a tattoo expo. Oh, God. Like, I see those billboards and those things. I'm like, oh, that's good. That's a good idea. I should look that up because there's things I want to go check out. And I feel like for stuff like that, billboards are okay. If it's like an event, just like letting you know this event's going on. Newspapers are dead anyway. So billboards are. Right, yeah. You but know? yeah, I'm never like, oh God, there's a new beach ball factory in town. I need to go get me some beach balls. Not, not like, even that, but it'd be like for like, oh, this doctor is doing a uh, new Mexican restaurant down the street. I probably wouldn't care. Right. I'd be like, yeah, I don't, it's, it's like who usually puts a billboard. Oh, there's, there's a new university, a college. I should go to that college or I should go to this yeah, doctor. Like, well, yeah. They aren't putting up or like, this dentist seems good. I saw his name on a billboard. Yeah. No. It's not like they're not putting dry cleaner billboards up. And uh, granted, we know that the lawyer has dreadlocks, but I am never using him. I know his name. I, everybody I does. Hear, I actually have heard, that he's a really good injury attorney. Well, and he's like I know ruthless. who to avoid. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah. If I ever pick a goddamn lawyer from a billboard, man, just bury me under the courthouse. Because <laughs> I'm losing that case. Okay. Well, how would you find your attorney? <laughs> I don't know, man. But if they, reviews. Yo, fam. If yep. I get a lawyer with dreadlocks, I'm just put me under the jail. I'm, I've am i lost. I mean, he. I bet you he has a certain style of clientele. <laughs> I hope so. You think white collar criminals are going to to the uh, dreadlock lawyer? I don't. Yeah, honestly, probably. probably. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I don't okay, know. so if we were to put up a billboard, how 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 much effect do you really think it would have? Um, like I think what, if we put up a real billboard, not not like even a, a billboard, but if we did the uh, the the Times Square thing, what do you think the effect of that? I don't would think be? it would have anything. But the one fair. thing I think that would That's that fair. that would that would potentially is like our website is thecrazytown.com. No and if it just said the crazy down.com question mark, that would be enough for people like the crazy town. Cause everyone's heard of like, not of <laughs> us, but people have said like, Oh, that's crazy town. Or, you know, that, that, that has been said, right. People have heard of like crazy town. <laughs> and, uh, so I think if we put the crazy down.com question mark, all black, white print on a billboard, people would be like, what's the crazy town.com. I think it would be, I think it, it would, I think somebody would go to it. Would they care? No. <laughs> That's so crazy. Don't you think so? Though? I, I think that's more effective than me and like, come and listen to the podcast. Yeah, no, watch I wouldn't YouTube put anything videos. about what we do. I would just put the website and let the name intrigue. 
and that would be it. That would be the only thing Fair. I would want. I to mean, do. Uh, that's that's an advert an advert an eye for advertisement that you're showing there. I'll give you that much, but yeah, I I agree when you say that not much would come from it. No, but. You know, especially, especially 15, 15 seconds. seconds. Yeah. But if we say we say we paid for a, a billboard in Austin. If for a was, day. For, right. And it just said the crazy town dot com question mark. That's it. Black, white. Like I, I if I me knowing me at, like I'm into like weird stuff and like whatever, like things that are just like, what the hell is that? If I was driving down the freeway and mm -hmm. I saw a billboard that just said the crazy town dot com question mark, I'd be like. I want to know what that. What is no, that? I, I, no, but you would never check it. I've, I've you would think I've it in your car, and then you, you get know home and totally I've forget done? about you it. You know what else I've looked up? Something there was a there was some sort of crypto website <laughs> that popped up on a web <laughs> <laughs> on a billboard, and it says this something guy. like. It's a freaking billboard guy. Look at this motherfucker. Why are you going to judge me? Bro? I'm not. I'm just saying, finish your story. It's it was, just... I don't even remember what it was, but it was like, it was like some sort of like, uh, it was like a pro, a pro crypto website. And I was just like, oh, that's neat. They put that up there. I'm curious what it is. And I don't know if I went there or not, but I thought about it. <laughs> yeah, I thought about it. I'm going to tell you right now is that I could not tell you a single thing I've ever seen on a billboard. Except for you know about Dreadlock Lawyer. I mean, well, I've seen that one a hundred times. I used to go to Bodine like every week. But I could, I've never, I could not tell you one thing I've ever seen on a billboard. I can tell you with assurance that I've never once inquired about a product or called a number from a billboard. Um, and I, 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 honestly, I think billboards are more for passengers. If I was passenger in a car, I'm way more likely to look at a billboard oh, yeah, and be like, oh, what is that? And then look it up. You got nothing else to pay attention to. Exactly. Yeah, so. Anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. We out.